let's see, it's not, even, it's not even easy to talk about at the start of the day. Daily Mail, we have a picture of the Camerons on holiday. Uh, today's uh, Daily Telegraph, uh, Camerons on holiday. Today's Times, Camerons on holiday. I don't even like holiday photos of people I know. <laughs> today's news is full of them with the Camerons going for a walk, having some coffee. Oh, here's one of us sitting there not giving a shit about what's happening in the UK. That's, that's what they're being accused of by all the newspapers. Why are they in Spain doing nothing during our crisis? Well, they should be over here doing nothing during our crisis. <laughs> because there's nothing they could do. There's the, this is on the front page of the Times about the Snoopers Charter. Thanks to the hideous events that happened in Woolwich, the Snoopers Charter is now back in the news. And actually, I'm in favour of this. Just reading the details, apparently the government will monitor what you do online. And I thought, finally, at least one person will read my blog. <laughs> uh, step in the right direction, from my point of view. Uh, this, is, it's very difficult to find humorous things to do with that Woolwich situation. Obviously, what a hideous story. But stupid people are trying to help out. Um, so, the EDL go on a rampage, go on a riot. People take to Twitter to complain about EDF. <laughs> so there are people out there who think the abbreviation for the English Defence League is EDF. Uh, I don't blame the schools. I'm sorry. You don't think that's how it's spelled. It's terrible. I mean, people say GCSE is getting easier. They also, the same people, think GCSE stands for British National Party. That's how kind of stupid. How do you mix these things up? What, is the same people think that, be careful, some people might do an M power salute? Yeah, you get confused between the two. Does it happen the other way around as well? Do these people get their bill and go, oh, bloody English uh, Defence League has put my lecky bill up again? Bloody hell, don't they know I'm white? <laughs> all about this Woolwich story, which is a joke that I would never do, uh, a story I would never make jokes about, so you know, well, this is not the kind of comedy. I try to find the most pointless news story, frivolous, pointless piece of fact, <laughs> and probably enough, it's on the Daily Mail website. 94% of UK adults would rather live without sex than their mobile phone. Well, let's find out. Give me a cheer if you'd rather live without sex. You randy f***ing like you. Good way. Uh, <laughs> give me a cheer if you'd rather live without your mobile phone. Good news. You don't have to pick. Uh, no one forces you to do one or the other. It's the most pointless survey. You can do, but you can put it on vibrate, do both at the same time, knock yourself out. Someone just got their phone out right now, just have a go. You can, you can do sexting. This is the very definition of doing sex on your mobile phone. Sex. Have you tried sexting? No. You should try it. I'm saying it's good. I tried sexting just the other week. It is the only way to get those PPI people to leave me alone. I don't like that joke because that's. That's my joke that I got printed in the Daily Star. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> riot in the world of fame. Daily Star. No, I live in Hertfordshire. That's what we're going for. So, 